Be honest with me, are you drowning in self-criticism about your body and does it feel like no matter what you do, you can never break free of this critical voice? I'm here for you and I'm really excited in this video to show you an evidence-based tool to reprogram that criticism and finally support you to feel the confidence that you truly deserve. This is exactly what I help women worldwide to do, just like my beautiful client Leslie who shares, if you had told me that I would get to a place where I could say, wow, I love you to myself in the mirror, I would have said you're out of your mind, <laughs> but I can genuinely say now that I love me. This is exactly what's possible for you. If you are deeply struggling, I would love to support you and you can learn more about working together through booking a call with me in the link below. Now let's get into the video. How do we break free of self-criticism and finally start loving our body? Well, the first very important thing we have to understand is that self-criticism is a default operating system of every single one of us. We all have been programmed to think negatively. We actually all have a negativity bias. It's part of our human evolution as our species. So we come by it naturally. It's not your fault. And to make matters worse, you were conditioned through society from the time you basically came out of the womb to today to consistently feel negatively about yourself. And because negative thoughts carry a lot more energy and emotional charge than positive ones, our brain seeks to actually make those part of our permanent belief system because they get, they take so much energy. So your brain has just decided, well, you think these all the time, I'll just make them part of your permanent belief system. So the point of me sharing this with you is that we can't change our appearance and expect that it's going to eradicate these deep seated beliefs of unworthiness. It just doesn't work. And that's why so many of us get exhausted and just feel worse about our bodies. The key to actually transforming the self-criticism is to transform your mind and those belief systems. We have to weaken those neural pathways because the more we weaken those neural pathways, the more we take energy and power away from them. And pretty soon our brain actually just stops thinking those things. And instead we experience what's called a cognitive shift where those negative things that we once believed to be true about ourselves are no longer true currently. I know that may seem like a far stretched reality from where you are today, but the good news is that I'm actually gonna teach you how to do that. So we're gonna dive into this evidence-based tool together, and I'm gonna teach you how to actually reprogram these critical thoughts and experience those benefits right here, right now. Make sure you stay all the way to the end because you're not gonna get the full benefits if you don't actually follow through this whole exercise with me. So what I'm gonna get you to do is to tune in and on a scale of one to 10, I want you to rate how critical do I feel towards my body in this very moment. 10 and 10, meaning so critical, obviously the most you can feel, zero, one, not at all. Perfect. Once you have that number, now what we're going to do is we're just going to gently start thinking about our body. We're going to use that as our target that we're thinking about. And I want you to just allow yourself to think of any and all negative thoughts that are just genuinely surfacing as you're thinking about your body. Maybe you even want to write some down. And now what we're going to do together is I'm going to invite you to tap on your body where I tap and repeat after me because this is the technique that I'm going to lead you through to start reprogramming these negative thoughts and taking power away from them. Okay, so tapping where I tap if you're able to and repeating after me, even though I have all these critical thoughts about my body, thoughts like I need to lose weight. I feel disgusted with my body. I hate the way that I look. <sighs> and it's really painful. I would love to have more peace and confidence with my body. even though I have a really critical part that constantly says negative things about my body. Thoughts like you've gained weight, you don't look good, everybody's going to judge you, There's a part of me that learned all of these negative thoughts about my body. Even though I, like everybody else, has a part of me that was 
conditioned to believe a lot of negative things about the way that I look. It's really society's voice, it's not mine. I'm willing to acknowledge that this critical part is just a part of me. It's not all of me. And I would love to take my power back around all this. I have a part that's really critical about my body. This critical part of me that's always saying negative stuff about my body. I'm never thin enough. I should diet again and exercise more. What if people judge me? This critical part is relentless. It makes me feel gross and defeated. Sad. Hopeless. Angry. I wish I could just kick this critical part off the face of the earth. And I'm willing to acknowledge that I have this critical part. Through no fault of my own, everybody has one. And that this critical part learned to speak society's language. It's not my voice. It's all society's brainwashing. And when I believe it, it makes me feel really sad and hopeless. And I'm willing to acknowledge that this is a critical part of me. It's not all of me. And it's certainly not my identity. Okay, so take a nice easy breath. Just give yourself a moment. Tuning in to how you feel after doing that exercise. And I want you to just kind of look around the room that you're in gently, take in your surroundings and find something that brings you joy. When your eyes tune into it, it brings you joy. And then notice what you're aware of after we did that. What are the thoughts, feelings that you have after doing that round? Okay, now we're going to go into round two, and we're going to start to do even more of this work together. So, repeating after me, tapping where I tap, even though I have a part of me that was conditioned to believe critical thoughts about my body. That's okay, everybody does. And I'm learning how to develop a more compassionate relationship with this part of me so that I can start to take my power back. Because I don't have to let society make me feel miserable for the rest of my life. <sighs> Even though I, like everybody else, have a part of me that's very critical about my body. It 
it's not my fault. And it's not okay that society did this to me. I'm learning how to take my power back. And I'm learning how to be kinder and more compassionate towards my body. This little critical part of me that learned to believe that these critical thoughts are helpful in some way. Because that's what society teaches us. The more you hate yourself and your body, the better relationship you'll have with your body. Buy these products, do this cleanse. This poor little part of me has just been brainwashed. And through no fault of its own, it's been under the impression that this has been helpful. That these negative thoughts are helpful in some way. But they're not. They're really hurtful. And what if I could just let that part of me know? You learn to believe these thoughts, it's not your fault. And thinking these thoughts really hurts us. What if I could even have compassion for this little part of me? What would it be like if I could take this part into my arms and give it a hug? And give it the love it's never received? What if I can take my power back from all of this? and teach this little critical part what's actually true today. I might be willing to step into some of this compassion for myself and for this little critical part who's never learned how to do things differently just received all this brainwashing from society. But I can actually teach this part how to do things differently. And step into the love and compassion we really want. Okay, so take a nice easy breath. And again, I'll invite you to just take a little look out your window or into your space, expand your vision, your field of vision, because this helps us to feel even more safe and supported in our bodies and grounded. And then just tune in and notice what are you feeling now? How critical one to 10 are you feeling about your body now? Or not critical, I should say. Perhaps you're feeling something completely different. And what's feeling true for you right now? What's feeling possible, like a glimmer of possibility? Something that I'd love for you to understand and remind you of 
which is really life-changing, is that you, like everybody else, have a little critical part of you. And oftentimes I like to suggest that you buy a little object with a face to personify that little part. And we often go the route of thinking, well, you know, I'll just get rid of this part, I'll kick it to the curb, and I'll just fight this part. Fighting this part and hating it is gonna get you nowhere because the more we fight ourselves, the more negativity we actually just create within ourselves. And you quickly learn, we actually can't get rid of any parts of us. So the only way to really heal is to learn how to develop compassion for these parts because compassion is what heals everything. And when you have compassion for this critical part, it actually becomes very willing to do things differently. Whereas if you yell and scream and kick at things, nobody really wants to do anything differently, right? So practice a few things. Reminding yourself, this is a part of me that learned these critical thoughts. It's not all of me. Remind yourself over and over again, yes, there's that part. It learned all this through no fault of its own. Like practice having compassion for that part. Keep reminding yourself anytime you hear a negative critical thought about your body that that's that part of you because you're starting to decondition the mind, weaken these pathways. And as you gradually build compassion for this part of you, you can actually start teaching this part of you, hey, instead of having these negative thoughts, this is what actually works better. This is what we do now. We focus on appreciating ourselves, focusing on the joy in life, like start retraining this part and guiding it into the right direction. And you will truly change not just your relationship with your body into one of love, but your whole life into your wildest dreams. Because that's what really happens when we stop fighting ourselves and getting stuck in the cycle of never enoughness and we start loving ourselves. So save this video, repeat it, because you're gonna wanna repeat it. Miracles don't happen <laughs> in just you know 10 minutes. I think we know that by now, especially reconditioning the mind. And I get that this is difficult work and it takes a lot of support and practice and accountability. And so if you're really serious about this, overcoming your critical relationship with your body and you just want peace and confidence and love, then I'm your gal and I would love to support you into that. And again, there's a link below in the description to connect with me directly and really make this happen. Thanks for being here. Lots of love to you and I'll see you again soon.